This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the LD Micro Main Event 2019 in Bel Air, California. With me right now is Dennis Calvert from BioLargo, publicly traded company. The symbol is BLGO. Dennis, welcome back. Good to see you. It's my pleasure to be back. Always a great, great event. Always a great event, and uh, always yeah. a pleasure to have you on here. Yeah, me too. Thanks. So, for our audience, let's start off with an overview of the company, and then we'll go from there. Sure. So, BioLargo is a technology and innovation company, right? and full-service solution provider focused on clean air, clean water, and advanced wound care. And we're climbing, revenues are climbing, and it's a very exciting time, and we're finding adoption for all our technologies. So that's who we are. So last time we had you on here was about yeah. six months ago, actually, at the LD Micro Invitational. Yeah. So let's get an update. What are some of the highlights of the last six months? Uh, we've done a lot six months. So in the June-July time frame, we refinanced quite a bit of our debt, got extended from short-term to long-term, brought in some money, which capital is always good. Uh, paid off a number of uh, variable uh, priced convertible instruments, which is very important. Uh, also, we've been really experiencing significant growth in our revenues. So we've experienced a 25% quarter over quarter growth in revenues for the last three years. So we're breaking records every quarter. Uh, we got a grant from the United States EPA to solve one of the biggest environmental issues facing America for PFAS. We've got FDA clearance on our wound care products. Um, let's see, what else? We got our first customer in the water business. Uh, we started stormwater piloting here in Southern California. I mean, it just goes on. it goes on and on. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's let's break it down a little bit. You know, you mentioned the uh, the grant from the EPA for PFAS. Can you tell right. us a little bit more about that? Yeah. So if you go back, you know, two years ago, we took quite a bit of risk, and we acquired a, a operating unit from one of the largest engineering firms in the world, who are innovators and technical support, engineering support who worked really all over the world for the, with an extensive career. They're experts in the space for environmental engineering. So we took a great risk. We decided to finance that group and really start up an environmental engineering group. And so now they're hitting stride. We landed contracts with the United States Air Force, worked with major clients around the, the country. We also were able to uh, secure an innovation grant, SBIR, Small Business Innovation Grant, Research Grant from the e US EPA to focus on PFAS. Well, PFAS is a big deal. You know, PFAS is uh, this fluorinated compounds. It's the subject matter of a new movie called Dark Waters. Uh, they're called persistent chemicals. Uh, they, they seem to last forever because nature won't break them down, and they're persistent and cumulative, and of course they have adverse health effects, right? So when that call for innovation came out, our engineering group said, you know, we think we have an idea that might be a good solution. So we did a little work, proved it up, made an application, got the grant. The EPA reviewer said, you know, that just might work. And sure enough, it does work. So we're now in phase two of that, which is a commercial grant. We're focused on an application to get that funding. But we're also doing the scale-up ourselves. And it appears that we're going to be a low-cost solution provider for one of the, really, probably the, the contaminant of the decade. And it's just a massive, massive opportunity. You know, this, the Orange County as a, as a location has identified it over 90 wells. There's over 1,800 wells that supply our drinking water in America that are contaminated with PFAS above the threshold limits. And Orange County predicts the cost to treat at about $850 million, right? That's just one county in, in the United States. So as an innovator solution provider, we're primed to really bring that solution to market. And so we're doing the scale up now. We'll be in piloting probably in the next four or five months. And we think it's just a, another massive opportunity for our innovation solution provider team. And so it's, it's pretty exciting. You know, I have to ask, we've had you sure. on here many times and, you know, there's so many different aspects to your business. So I don't know if I've ever asked this to you, sure. but I have to, I have to know what excites you the most right now that our investor audience should be aware of? Well, that's a good question. You know, so all these innovations, they started with one innovation, right? A discovery, right? Our Kenneth Ray code, uh, 14, 15 years ago presented to us, uh, this discovery about the all natural iodine cycle, right? And he, he, he saw some tips. He saw things other people couldn't see. So we started an innovation cycle. Now, that one uh, observation that became an innovation of technology has turned into a whole portfolio. So all these are interconnected. You know, they're extensions of the discovery, and that's the way discovery works. You know, you're in there to try and solve a problem. You know what you know, and boom, right before your eyes, these things will show up and say, hey, guess what? You can do this too. In fact, just today we announced that our uh, Cooper 9 Clean product has shown particularly uh, strong efficacy, 100% efficacy, in removing hydrogen sulfide. You know, you're talking about another half a billion dollar market for us. And that's a product that we've already commercialized for the last three years, and now it's just another extension of its use, right? Well, so the same thing's happening all around the company. Um, 
now we have a whole team. We've got momentum. We've got critical mass. You know, I have a team of about 27 people, heavy in PhD uh, scientists and professional engineers. You know, people that can do just about anything. And when they put their minds together and they're unleashed to focus on something very important, worthy, you know, they come up with innovation to solve problems. And they're stakeholders, right? They're owners now. Well, so what excites me? Um, I'm excited to see all of it work. You know, <laughs> it's been a, I mean, it's been a long time. Okay, this is this is uh, you know over over 12 years since we first acquired the technology, and so now to see it all sort of find its place in the market. Uh, it's not, you know, we're not huge yet, but man, we have a chance to be a huge company. And when you look at the face of clients and they look at you and they go, oh my goodness, you know, what can you do, right? And so we have this, this talent. So I, I think really the exciting part is finding that adoption cycle, seeing the vision sort of come to reality. Uh, I love working with these incredibly bright people. Um, and when you break down the sciences, you know, the water is huge. The healthcare is extraordinarily high value. The engineering is, is so nimble and flexible. It's got customers everywhere. So they're each a little different. Um, but, you know, we, uh, we're excited about all of them. That's the bottom line. No, it's, been a, it's been a slog. Look, we've, had, oh, we've been man. interviewing you for, what, seven, eight years now? Yeah. So, so we've heard every the war evolution. story. <laughs> yeah, the evolution, really. We started out as a tech shop, right? right? And we made this decision uh, two years ago to start this full-service environmental engineering team. And so they have three jobs, big jobs, by the way, support our innovations, support customers, and support new innovation. Well, that's a lot. You know, most people can only do one at a time. They're doing three. But I'll tell you what's happened is the company's made a decided shift in about the last year and a half to deliver a full-service solution to a client. That means we're constructors, we're engineers, we're builders, we're, we're in installers and maintenance servers and, and, and chemistry, right? And so all of a sudden... We can take a problem start to finish, and customers love it. And so what happens is our, our, our growth opportunity is unshackled because now we have a full, complete solution to deliver to a client. So it's a big deal. Well, let's learn a little bit more about that. From what sure. you can tell us, what are some of the company's growth drivers now moving into 2020? So well, 2020 is going to be, you know, everybody says, what are you going to do next year? I'm like, well, we're going to do what we're doing, but we're going to do a lot more of it. I mean, really, it's like because we, we sort of broke the code on how to make money now, right? That took a while. We, f we found markets that adopt us. They love our product. The value proposition is extraordinary. You know, we enter these markets with the number one performer and a value proposition. So we, we enter the market to literally drive the margin out of that industry as a disruptor. Right. Okay, so when they finally get it, they go, oh, my goodness, you're saving me money and you're doing what other people can't do. So, you know, I look at it and I say to myself, if we don't do 2 to 4x growth next year, something's up, Right. right. And we're extending our growth cycle by leveraging through partnerships, like we've got a joint venture now cooking in uh, South Korea with the leading wastewater treatment company. We signed a distributor serving the cannabis and hemp industry. And so they're investing marketing and sales and distribution dollars to see our product find its way through that industry. The, the same thing is going to go on with the H2S, the hydrogen sulfide. You know, people are going to come in and say, oh, my goodness, and they want to buy it through distribution and then take it to market. So I think the growth opportunities are just astronomical now that we're sort of achieving that technical innovation critical mass. We've got staff critical mass. We've got knowledge critical mass. And I think eventually the market's going to figure out that we're undervalued and got a huge future. I had a meeting with a client last week, and they said, oh, my gosh, this is going to be a huge company. I'm thinking... It's been so long. It lifts the God's ears. I think it will. <laughs> of course, we wouldn't, we, you know, we wouldn't be doing it if we didn't believe that was true. But we're pretty pragmatic, too, about what it takes to get there now, right? right. And so I think this two, 2020 will see dramatic revenue growth, expanded partnership. This PFAS thing is going to come to a, a, a trial relationship with clients. Sure. And as the word gets out on that, I think it's just a massive, massive opportunity for our stockholders. So, so we're bullish on BioLargo. And where can our audience go and find more information about BioLargo? Well, sure. So BioLargo.com, of course. And we have a blog there. We're, we put a lot of information out, and we'd love to talk to you anytime. So, My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live. And we're at the LD Micro Main Event 2019 in Bel Air, California. With me again has been Dennis Calvert, BioLargo, publicly traded company. Symbol is BLGO. Dennis, always a pleasure. Bobby, thanks. Go BioLargo.